from in other counties where they have hedges because you've got you've got you've got the front end of the folds of me just stuck out in the lane before you could see what was coming down the lane while you were sat on the back tractor. But they were very popular in Essex and in the, and in the eastern counties and uh, there's quite a lot reserved now. The uh, turntables and uh, all that were that manufactured by Joe and fabricated and they converted a few but what uh, what really put paid to them was the fact that Robles and County and URL and Manny Two and all the others were uh, Macro and all the others were all uh, big manufacturing four wheel drives and then in the end the big manufacturers Ford, John Deere and all the others went on to four wheel drive so uh, the Joe the Joe in the late 70s, late 70s, I think this is the last one from 7000 uh, faded away. So uh, the other the other tractors were more manoeuvrable and uh, were and were just as good. Right, thank you for that. We have just good hold on a second. Right. Just another thing as well. Um, looking at John Deere, which I learned from uh, a learned person who came to see me, Council, is that the John Deere tractor has its colours as a, re a registered trademark throughout the world. So nobody can copy the green or the yellow wheels in that configuration at all. It is a registered trademark throughout the world. And that is the significance of seeing a John Deere, always yellow wheels, rest of it all over the tree. Okay? That's another little quirky thing. Davy Brown always stands out, it was meant to be. Davy Brown was a, a very intellectual sort of chap because he painted his tractors in an awful white, what do you call them? Yeah. And that the orchard white was the negative colour. Yeah. So that's another distinctive thing that sets that apart. And when you see blue, what do you see? It's a Ford, alright? And when you talk about um, civil engineering, building sites, triggers, plants and machinery, they're yellow. For safety reasons, obviously, you have to be seen. So, in amongst our lineup here, looking at right now, we have a yellow one in the middle. It's what they call a Macedonian industrial. They were they were made for councils, made for building companies, construction, whatever it might be. And then another very low import rate, I presume, would have would have been the um, the the Rocklock 88, the Oliver range of tractors. The word very good is that really. No. 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 And then there, of course, you'll see on the front of some tractors, not many, but some here today, I've seen two or three now, the back belonging to Turkey, with three circles and a square of set. That signifies Mr. Perkins' motif, a square wheel all way. So there you go. Um, and as we call them, they put them in lorries, as we call them Dorothy then, the Dorothy, Dorothy Perkins range. Nice to see people from the local community who are supporting us. Of course they have to bring the carers with them, but you know, obviously doing well. It's still here. Nothing else, and another thing that's the end thing, we won't go into that, there's much to say about that, but the nothing else, the road nothing else, the car group as well. And of course, the famous red, Matthew Ferguson, ready before, but now red. Always red, still is today. Most favourite colour of any factor, really, but uh, many international, they were, uh, well, some of them, most of them in the UK were produced in Doncaster, weren't they? Is this a road conversion or a transit? This is a road conversion 4x4, number 51. 
a road to 604 I think. Six seven the four wheel drive. And you can see it's on the back of the wing. Using logging, forestry, etc. Yeah, the wind is a lot of forestry and stuff. Yeah, it's interesting that they told spoke about the John Deere and the rights to the green and yellow tractors because the first six uh, gold wheel towers that were made were painted green and yellow wheels in the identical shades of John Deere. So it does wonder whether Deere shot gold from painting in that colour. We made them different in Fords by painting green and yellow, but uh, you wonder if they have the rights over the colour scheme in Deere, whether they stopped it in the way. Yeah. 